Hey guys, it's me, Meat, and here we are doing the final level before the final boss in Kirby Canvas Curse, Wonder Lilane. Uh, let me just take off my headset here for an unspecified reason real quick. <sighs> Alright, well, now that that's over, let's go ahead and start this real quick. And we're going to be doing Frozen Fantasy. Now, being this is the final level, you're going to be doing a lot of things that test all your skills. And your patience as well. Definitely a lot of your patience. The first level isn't really all that bad, honestly, it, but it is very, uh, what's the word? Very long, the first level is. Either way, I would suggest, you'll notice a medal over there you could actually get. You're not gonna be able to, well, you're gonna be able to get that soon, but be careful, because you're gonna, if you hit something that you think you should, you're not gonna be able to get that medal and have to start the level over again. So just ignore it for now. Head up here. Now be careful when you actually head over here, you'll see this place with spikes. Follow a line over that ramp and over that little button, and then fall down. If you hit that switch, well, you'll see what happens. If you hit this switch, though, it'll drop that down. Now we can actually go down here and get that metal. We got our first metal already. Very nice. All right. Head up this way. Head up there. And now if we hit this switch... It'll drop that there, and also you notice that since the actual boosters go the opposite direction where you need to go this time, you don't want to hit the boosters, you want to actually avoid them. So now that you actually drop down the ice and it drops there for us, let's just head up here now, and grab a needle. Grab a needle might be useful for things. We Needle's great for not really using too much, uh, not really using all too much mine. Head up here, hit that, head right here, hit that, and that falls down. So now we also have to hit a checkpoint as well, so now we can actually just head over here, jump up this, fall down here, and now, oh, we lost our needle, oh, that's a shame. Oh well, what can you do? Just head up here, follow this, and give me a second real quick. Sorry about that. Anyway, I should have actually grabbed that needle there, but I didn't. Oh well, just keep on hitting up here. And hey look, there's some pep root for us. We could actually use that. We could grab ice, but honestly, since you're going up so much, ice is kind of useless because ice is good for sliding across. Not really so great for actually going up though. Does things to take note of there. Watch out for those dash boost things again, obviously. We want to get rid of freeze and actually just go over here. And we hit this switch. And now we actually want to tap these and break them before they actually hit us. And then we just actually dash roll over here. Get up here and inside the door. Just head over here and voila. Alright, now you'll notice the metal you could get up there. But there's that right there. How do you get up there then? Alright, no problem. Just actually go around this little gap here. And Oh wait, we can because there's a force field there. Alright, just head over here. You actually want to actually draw a line to actually land on this one. Because you actually go ahead and head up here. Watch out for those Bronto birds. They're going to kill you. So you just wait for it to actually get to the top here. Dash, dash there. And voila. We got our first medal. Very nice. So now you go ahead and drop down. And I'm surprised I got on my first try. But alright. Let's go ahead and take a little ride here. Just follow slowly. All we can do. Can't really go anywhere else. Just kill everyone in our path. No no survivors. Everyone dies. Oh, well, actually. Haha. <laughs> you thought you were safe. Up. Oh. Now, when you see this little line of stars going down, you actually want to drop down and... Aw. Uh, overshot. Alright, try this again. Just dash. Nope. Still too late. Alright, let's just try dashing here and see what happens. I said dashing here. No, wrong way. Alright, I better not die this time. Darn it! Oh! Alright. Alright, so far so good. Got it! Perfectly! Alright, awesome. Alright, so now I can actually move forward here. Just watch out for these guys. Just keep dashing, keep moving forward, just keep moving. And now we can actually enter inside this door here. And now we actually want to actually beat the metal ball over to the top here. Hit that, and hit this switch. And now the metal ball is going to roll over here, so just wait for it. And it actually hit the blue switch for us. So that's very nice of it, for it to actually do the work for us. 
There's nothing over there to the right in case you're wondering, so just actually entered into the store. And then we just dash up here. And that's that. And then we can continue on the little conveyor belt. Hey look, the force field's gone, so we can technically just don't even have to ride it up. But I want to actually get to the checkpoint up here and actually grab the pet brew. And now we can continue here. Uh, Alright, try it again. Dash and run over here. Alright. Now up here, soon we're going to be reaching a metal point, so we have to actually bounce properly. Oh boy. Alright. So now there's this part here. If you fall down on one of these little conveyor belt things, you actually have to actually pop right back up. You just roll over to it. But you can't draw any lines, so it kind of tests you in that regard. I think I'm a little bit too far back, actually. Hmm. Hope it won't be too much of an issue. Now for this, you want to wait till you actually get to the very end over here, and then bounce there. You have to actually time that properly or you're going to fall down. Oh, nope, I'm not going to let you hit me. No way. And then wait for it. There we go. Perfect. Do my first try. Very nice. Force field. And now we can go through here. And then there's this part. Alright, let's go and tap this. Hit that switch there. Bounce over there. Go through here. Now you'll notice, if you hit this switch, or even up here, you can't do anything about that yet. You can't go up there no matter how hard you try. You don't even bother. Don't even try it. But that green switch we actually hit actually knocks out all the green blocks permanently. But either way, let's see here. Set up here. Set up there. And then, it's like a little puzzle. You go through there, you can go down here. There's nothing down here though, I don't believe. Just, just stuff. Don't need to worry about it. You can't do anything about this yet. Want to go out this way, or there's actually this, break that down. It's like a little maze here, a little switch maze, kind of interesting, but whatever. It kind of works. And you know, this little checkpoint in there as well we could grab. Let's go ahead over there, just draw the line. Checkpoint, all right. Break these down, kill them. Head over here, break that down. Now we wanna wait for the Gordo to pop right back up. Hit that. Now try as you may to hit these switches here. You will never be able to actually get inside that door yet. It is impossible. So just ignore it for now and just go up here instead. So we head through this tier. You'll see actually those thuds there trying to kill us. Careful. We can't go through that way, so we actually want to head back around. Head over here. Hit this switch. Head down here where these little stars. Just stop these in place. You get a max on tomato and hit the purple switch. But before we go any further with that, let's head up here instead. And then fall all the way down. Just keep falling. And hey look! There's the last metal we need. And you notice both the black, both the purple and the green blocks are now gone. So you hit the both we hit both of the main switches to actually control the power instead of all those like combination ones. So now we can continue on and actually beat this level. That's the wrong way, Kirby. I'm gonna go this way. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing good in the time trial list, let me tell ya. All right. Head over here. Keep going, Kirby, come on. This way. There's nothing really over to the right you need to worry about, so don't even worry about going to the right. I think it's just like a red herring just to actually waste time essentially. I haven't really found it used to go over to the right for anything. I don't even think there's a maximum tomato or anything over there or a one up or anything. I could very well be wrong, but whatever. Anyway, now you'll notice the door is open, so you just enter in here and voila. And I spent enough time with that one level alone. But whatever, let's continue on. Let's keep dashing and aha See, I finally did it. 
Didn't quite get the 1560, but I think I got enough good score there. Yay! Alright. So now we're off to Mad Mechanism. And this one is also pretty fun. Oh, man. I may have to actually split up World 7 into two videos. Well, actually, technically three if you count the Rainbow Run. But, uh, yeah. There's a lot of fun stuff that goes on here. A lot of, uh, interesting things. Having the needle here is actually kind of helpful. You'll notice the actual floor actually stops there it's every so often. And I lost the needle already. And I actually need needle for one of the actual parts later. For an actual ability. Or for an actual, uh... For one of the, uh... Metals I actually need needle for. So, so yeah. Hopefully I find another needle soon. If not, that's going to be troublesome. There's another needle. Alright. Hopefully I don't lose this one. Careful. I want to be extra careful with this one here. Alright. Alright. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright. Good. Good. Ah, oh, dang it. I lost my needle. Ah, oh, well. I'm going to have to actually go back for that if there's not another needle around here. I'm going to have to actually end up killing myself if there is no needle. I know there's at least one other needle here, I think. But either way, I, I need one for the next part. Isn't this fun? Uh, there's, no, there's another needle as far as I could tell. Alright. Going over here. Let's just wait to see what happens if I like, go all the way to the side here. Hey, a pep brew. And I kill myself. Oh well, need to kill myself anyway. Come on, so close. You are so close, Kirby. Alright. Now comes the fun part. I have to make sure... Ah, dang it, I was... No, come on. Dang it, no. <laughs> I was right there. <sighs> Trying this again. Alright. Alright. Yes! Yes, got it. Okay, good. Alright, well that's fun. That was probably one of the most infuriating actual medals to get in the game, in the actual main storyline. Anyway, you actually want to drop down here, watch the map. You actually want to drop down the right one that has the right middle one. And take note of where those are, by the way. Take note of them. Just keep dashing here. Grab that. And just wait over here for this one. Then drop down. And now we have this. Practice up with these, by the way. That's all I can say is just practice up with them. Aw, uh, I didn't want to actually put them in that spot. You actually want to put, drag these over into the sides right there to actually hit the switches. Nope, not where I wanted to take them. Alright. You want to actually try hitting them in the middle to actually, actually hit both of them at the same time. I mean, you don't have to do it this time because I'm already doing it now, but just... Try to take note of doing that. Just saying. You also have to make sure you actually hit all the switches as well. Because once you do that... You actually drop down all the gates and go in here. And they never actually end. They just keep going. You have to actually hit the gates that way. So let's actually head over here. Oh, I was going to try to make a lo like little circle, but it didn't work. Oh well. Now we have this fun part here. Lots of layers of lasers everywhere. Just make sure you draw at the right spot, at the right time, at the right moment. So draw it there. Draw it there. Now if you head up here, you'll get a nice little one-up over here, so that's something. You get you actually use a lot of one-ups for this area. Drop down there. Just fall down. Draw a little line there. Alright, and also if you go up here, you'll notice there's actually a little bomb place actually hit. 
you just drop that. You get some nice pep brew. All right. But wait, nope. Nope, I don't want to go that way yet. The main reason for going up here is because we get that. There is actually a metal up there for us too. So I said there's a metal right there. All right. There we go. We got all the metals now. Very nice. And now we can actually land this little platform. Draw that line there. Draw that line there. Dash and draw a line over there. Underneath there. Keep on drawing. Bouncing. Yeah, you see a lot more uh, stage hazards literally everywhere in the stage. It doesn't get any easier than this. Trust me on that. I mean, this is pretty much the end of level almost, but uh, let's just say the final level is a bit more annoying. Anyway, when I go in here, you'll actually see the door randomly appearing in place. You want to make sure you're at the right spot. Make sure you're right there when it appears. Aha! Got it. And now we can do the dash jump. We. I'm getting better at it, at least. That's that's something. Yay! Alright, so now we get to do Spectacle Space. Or as I like to call it, Spiketacle Space. Why? <laughs> uh, this is the only area in this entire game that actually looks like this as a level. Where you see... You see balloons everywhere, too. I personally think the balloons are useless even in the line trial for this. There is a line trial that's actually super fun with this. But I've noticed I find it a lot easier to do without the balloon. Because, well, the balloon, like, pretty much more often than none, actually leads you right into spikes. Just keep drawing small little lines here. Just keep drawing them. Although, I guess if you have a balloon, you could also easily do this, too. But... As long as you draw like little things like this, it works pretty much the same exact way as if you were to draw a balloon. So, as long as you know where you're going, you actually draw a nice little line with without actually using too much line in general. Now we're gonna actually go this way. Get rid of the balloon. You could either go up or you could go over to the right left. I think the actual right side is a lot quicker and a lot safer, but uh. I honestly forget if there's anything important over on this side. I really don't think there is. So, uh, yeah. Well, there's a there's little spot, pepper right there and a checkpoint. So we hit that. And now. Yep, still, still lots of spikes literally everywhere. All right. <laughs> it's like there's not even a safe platform. We pretty much have to draw just lines. Just lines. Yep. Too many spikes. Alright. And now you'll see this spot here. You'll see these little orbit things. You actually orbit around them with the physics and everything. You can actually kind of dash your way out of them. But what's probably a lot easier to navigate is actually to grab one of these. The missile. The missile is actually very easy in this. It doesn't actually get attracted too much by the gravity. And it's a lot easier to travel too. You guys get blast through enemies like that too. Now, you actually want to head over here to this switch. Whoops. I got hurt. I'm probably going to end up dying. I need to do this again. Oh, well, I just want to hit the switch now. Come on. Hit the switch. First gate is down. Now we need the second gate. I can actually grab another missile. That'll be fantastic. Or that pet brew. Also equally good. But before you do anything, let's actually head down all the way to the bottom of this stage. Just ignore the gravity, pull ourselves out of it. Just keep falling. Keep free falling. You'll see these yellow platforms. Huh. Lots of fire everywhere. Hey look, it's the sun. Makes sense, being as it's called Spectacle Space. So yeah. But yeah, you can't really do much else there. Just there's that little, there was that metal that was hiding there. That's basically it. Now hit the switch here. 
And the enemy gate is down. We have to actually get all four switches now to actually, you know, finish up the finish up the victory. And let's just head up here. Oh yeah, that one's already red. All right. And now we can enter in here for this section. Oh my gosh, yeah. This is just constantly rushing towards you. You'll see that back wall there. And you'll see spikes actually here and things actually speed up too. You don't want to get too close to it. It kind of works like a black hole too. It kind of sucks you in. So you got to be careful with that wall. Stay away from it. Easy. Easy. We got a checkpoint at least, so that's something. I recommend not staying too far ahead, but not too far behind either. Stay, have a good, like, middle distance. So you can see what's ahead of you, and at the same time... No, come on! Get it, get it, get it! Get it. Oh, I'm gonna go kill myself. Alright, for that section there, it's actually probably easier to you take the top route instead of the bottom route when trying to grab that coin. Because you could fall into it, and if you die... So what? But it's a lot easier to grab when it's at the top than it is when it's at the bottom. You bounce back that way, and voila! Alright, get away from me! Get away from me, you stupid bomb! Ah, crap. And now you'll see lots of spikes everywhere. Lots of spikes. Lots of walls, lots of spiked walls. Just keep moving. Hurry. Easy. And then one finally appears right down there. And the wall doesn't stop moving. Ah, and you get squished. Alright, try this again. Easy. Careful, Kirby. Careful. You don't wanna don't wanna die. Keep trying. There we go. Perfect. And now we have Drasha. Ooh, she's getting ticked now. She's getting really ticked. Level seven is now in Rainbow Run. And now you unlock level 8, the world of Drasha. Just one level. But uh, of course we're not gonna be doing we're not gonna be tackling that quite next. We're gonna be doing the rainbow run first. But before we do anything, let's actually head back to the two levels now that we have like actually the blue switch and actually get the little medals we need. See you there. Alright, now remember how I said you have to actually time this properly? Well now that the little blue thing is gone, we actually use that. Now we have the only use for balloon in pretty much the entire game as far as I could tell. This right here, if you actually go up here, and then just use the balloon. Hey look, you can actually bounce yourself up here. Imagine that. Probably the only time where balloon is useful in the entire game as far as I could tell. The only time it's actually required for anything. I mean, I'm sure you can get up here with regular Kirby too. It's just a lot harder to draw lines straight up without using too much ink in that kind of small of a confinement area. But yeah, we got the metal there, so now let's actually head over to the next world here. Let's head over here to level 6 and actually grab the metal and collapse castle. Alright, now I haven't really seen a way to actually uh, continuously and uh, reliably grab this last one. It's kind of annoying. You have to actually bounce yourself over here, draw it, and then dash. Ah, You have to try and grab that one somehow. Ugh, dang it. Ugh.
There we go. You had to like balance yourself over that pit somehow. But I finally got it. All right. So now we're done with all of the medals in the main game, aside from, of course, level 8, the world of Drasha. We're going to now go to Rainbow Run and actually do level 7 and getting the medals in here. See you guys then.